guys welcome to another beauty video on my channel i hope you guys like this look just as much as i loved it because i winged it and it turned out super good so just to let you know i've done my eyebrows and primed my face off camera because it takes a lot of time preparing for a video but i didn't apply foundation because i was going to do a heavy look so just a tip if you are going to do a heavy look on your eyes try not to do foundation first because you're bound to have fallouts with the best of the best eyeshadows out there so it's better to do your eyeshadows before you apply your foundation if you're going for a heavy look so as you can see i've chosen the chocolate palette by Too faced and i'm using the lightest lightest brown shade in this palette and just applied it in my outer corner and then i moved on to the brown in this palette and just applied it in my outer corners as well and the brush i'm using is from ColourPop, it's their small tapered blending brush, I think. They come with a number, but I don't remember the number and I've packed up all my stuff. So at the end of applying the two brown colors in my outer corner, I decided to just lightly bring it into my inner corner and that's about it, very lightly. And afterwards, I'm gonna apply some concealer in my inner corner to not exactly make a cut crease, but just to help my metallic shades that I'm gonna apply over to stick better. You can use a Fix Plus, but I like it on top of a concealer because it makes it pop more. So now I'm gonna dab the concealer on so it makes it, you know, sit better on the eye and not have all those like creases in your eyes, if you know what I mean if you applied, you know, concealer ever on your eyes. So now I'm gonna take this metallic color near the light brown shade onto my eyes it's a very light metallic color so you can't really see it popping but it is helping it to stick better it's like you know when you apply a glitter glue and it helps to stick the glitter so this concealer is helping the metallic shades to stick on better And then I decided to use a little more coppery metallic shade in the middle of my eyes so it's like an ombre from a lighter metallic color to a copper shade, if you know what I mean. Now I'm going to take the darkest brown shade in the Anastasia Beverly Hill Prism Palette and I'm also using a ColourPop um, brush here. It's a little smaller one than the other one I was using. So yeah, it's also a blending brush, but it's much smaller than the other one that I was using. With the brown shade from this palette, I'm just focusing on the outer corners of my eyes. I'm not going to bring it in. Now I'm taking a Maybelline eyeliner pen and just lining the upper part of my lashes. I'm not going to wing this liner out. I'm going to blend it with a black color afterwards. Now taking the small brush from ColourPop again and using the Anastasia Beverly Hill Prism Palette, taking the black from that palette. And I'm just going to apply it in my outer corners again. I didn't record it blending it with the brown color on top that I blended before. So you're, you're not going to see how I blended the black. So. so basically how I blended the black was I just focused on the eyeliner that I applied. Which is on top of my lashes and around the outer corner of my eyes where the brown is. I did not bring the black to my inner corners because I wanted the metallic to stay there and pop more. As you can see, the black is only on my outer corners and on top of my eyeliner which makes it look like a smudged eyeliner. And then I'm going to use this Laura Lee contour and highlight palette and I'm going to use the highlight shades to apply on my brow bone. Now 
now using the new launched ColourPop foundation called the No Filter Foundation. And I've used the color 145 and 120 and I mixed it together and it made the perfect shade for my skin. Not too light and not too warm. The brush I'm using to apply this foundation is also from ColourPop. I did not want to use a beauty blender because using a damp beauty blender with, would thin this foundation out because it is pretty liquid. You, if you haven't seen it in my previous snap, you can see it's like running down my hand. It is a very runny formula and if you use a damp beauty blender, it's going to thin out the formula much more. I'm also going to use a ColourPop concealer. I, I don't exactly know the name. I think it's also called the No Filter Concealer. As you can see before, this concealer is almost out. I love this concealer, so it's pretty affordable. Both the foundation and the concealer are on a very good budget. If you are on a budget, you can buy this foundation. The foundation costs around 12 US dollars, and I guess the concealer is just below 12. Now I'm going to use my RCMA translucent powder, <laughs> I can't speak. Uh, because this foundation is pretty sticky, I needed to use a translucent powder all over my face to get away with the sticky feeling on your face. Now I'm going to contour my face with the new Morphe Laura Lee palette. I love this palette, this palette comes with some nice shades of highlighters and also some contour like good contour shades so I've used the two bottom colors mixed together to create this shade and I'm gonna apply it in my hollows of my cheeks my forehead and my jawline and around my nose and this palette is super pigmented so use a light hand as you can see on my one cheek my contour is a bit harder than the other one so I've used my powder brush to blend it out and then I'm gonna use some blushes from my BH Cosmetic palettes. I'm not a blush person so I do not own a lot of blushes. So this is the only palette and another e.l.f. palette that I have which only has its blushes. Now I'm going to use this new Smashbox Rose Highlighter. It's called the Gilded Rose. It is super super beautiful and natural looking i love this highlighter over all my strong highlighters because it gives like a nice pink sheen but yet it like you know gives you that highlighter feel now i'm using the black on the brush again to like smudge my lower eyeliner that i applied off camera <laughs> i'm sorry i kind of forget to film sometimes now I'm going to take these Stila Minis and then I'm going to use it to apply some glitter on top of the metallic to make it pop even more because who doesn't need glitter and who doesn't need some nice popping eyeshadows. So for lashes I used these Huda Beauty knockoffs from a shop that I've like seen in Hong Kong and they're pretty good for knockoffs as well. For lipstick, I've applied a Medora lipstick before and I wasn't feeling it so I topped it off with some Huda Beauty liquid lipstick called Flirt. It wasn't matte enough for me so I'm using some powder and I'm just applying it on top to matte it a little bit more to my liking. So that's the end of my look. I just glammed it up with a new shirt that I had and some jewelry and you're off to go.